Hi everybody, Robert Jones, back with you doing some taste testing today. I hope you're having a good one, and I can brighten your life with just five or ten minutes of fun. So today we have for you two different crisp chips. We have the taco chips, seafood flavor. Taco generally means um, octopus in a lot of Asian languages. And then we have pizza chips, and this one is cracking me up because it says, lighten your day with very delicious pizza snack. Very delicious pizza snack. And it even has a little tiny piece of bell pepper on there. So here we go. Two, two chips. Two chips from Korea to give a whirl and have a flag fight fun. Hope you guys. All right. I am so curious about the taco chips. So this is very exciting. Um, I'm just going to snip the top off here. As you guys might know, I like to keep the packaging because then at the end of the video, I um, I scan these and I put me on my website, my blog. Have you guys checked out the blog? Uh, actually, scissors didn't, scissors didn't warrant here. I put these on the blog and so you guys can see what the actual packaging looked like. And then you can watch the video again if you want to. And maybe you can try these and comment and I'd love to know what you guys think. Okay, taco chips, seafood flavor. Ooh, they sound, smell very seafoody. Not not like rotten seafood stall, but like, yeah, seafood restaurant. Let's see, what is in here? First of all, 150 calories. Calories per container, two. And, ooh, written in all kinds of languages. Where is the English? Here we go. Wheat, flour, rice, bran, oil, corn, starch, minced, corvina, which is a kind of fish, apparently, it says on here, fish. Palm oil, rich, oh, excuse me, not rich, rice flour, sugar, salt, desorbital wheat, starch, artificial flavor, natural flavor, starch, shrimp powder, yeast extract, onion powder, defatted soy flour, because you can't have fat soy flour, dextrose corn syrup, sodium carbonate, red radish extract powder, anchovy extract powder, disodium glutamate, oh, and disodium isolate. So, if you are an MSG intolerant person, um, be cautious of these because it's got disodium. Um, so I'm probably just going to try one or two of them because I'm pretty sensitive. So, but I want to taste it for you and for me. So here's, a, it's like a fish shape. I guess if it would go this way, it'd be an octopus shape. Here's what they look like in the bag. In the bag. They look like giant goldfish. They're the same puffy, crunchy texture. And the first thing I think of is ramen noodles. It tastes like ramen noodles. It tastes like that spice packet, the shrimp. Well, oh, that's loud. It tastes like the shrimp flavor ramen noodles. That's really funny. Um, it's got a little bit of a saltiness, a little bit of a savory, a little bit of an airplane going over. So I'm just keep on going. Mm hmm. I can see how these would be um, attractive to people. The Nongshim, Nongshim company. Well, and you guys can see the, the octopus is pretty darn cute. But I, I don't know why it needs to have a snorkel. It's like a snork, a snork snorkel octopus. Anyway, what would I give these? I would give these um, give them six. Pretty good. I'm only concerned about the disodium glutamate. And that's why I'm not eating anymore. Okay. We also have... I have to tell you, I love this packaging. This green and this red. Yes, just as intense as you guys see it on camera. It is in real life. It has this tiny piece of pizza on here. With all the good stuff. It has tomato. It has pepperoni. It has green and red and yellow bell pepper. It has it all. So my expectations for these are quite high right now. These are called the Korean Cracker, according to the English label on the back, an afterthought. It says ingredients, wheat, flour, rice bran, starch, palm oil, pizza seasoning powder, paprika, ole resin, oleo, oleo resin, I don't know, I'm sure that is. Cochlean extract, anato extract, artificial flavor, tomato, T O M 
A T O tomato. Um, defatted soybean grits. Soybean. I didn't know there was such a thing as soybean grits. And cheese powder. So as far as ingredients go, and chips, it doesn't quite have that many. It is a product of Korea. It is from Seoul. It is from Nongshim again. Nongshim, I guess that's what it says there. Nongshim. And this has, oh, this has 310 calories per serving um, to her bag. All right, let's pop it open and pop it in our mouth. So I'm not that um, worried because it doesn't have MSG in it or um, dye MSG. And they look, okay, what does it smell like? Do you ever buy cheese at the grocery store or the Costco or whatever, and it has that plastic or wax film around it, where it's like you can kind of smell the cheese, but you can't really smell the cheese? That's exactly what this smells like. You can kind of smell the cheese. You can't really smell pizza. It doesn't smell like pizza. And they look like waffles. It shows waffles. It looks like waffles. What was it going to taste like? Oh, they're they're puffy, crunchy. And it tastes nothing like pizza, or at least not the pizza that I eat. Hmm. What does it taste like? It tastes like crunchy, and a little bit salty, and a little bit sweet, and a little bit cheese. And nothing of pizza. That is so strange. All this advertising telling you it's pizza. Lighten up your day with very delicious pizza snack. And I don't get pizza at all. I kind of get cheesy cracker with like, it's not even like bam Italian spice. That's weird. It's not bad. It just tastes nothing like pizza. Okay. Well, what do you guys think? Have you had the pizza snack that doesn't taste like pizza? Love to know what you guys think. Check it out. All right, so just in review, we have the taco and we have the non-taco, uh, the pizza. And I would give this, I don't know, a five. And I would give this a four because I think this is a... It tastes fine, but it's a serious fail as far as what it's called here. So it's like a four. It's a four because it tastes good, but doesn't live up to what it says it is. This actually tastes a little bit like octopus or at least seafood and shrimp. So I'd give this like a five. All right, you guys. Boop. What you guys think? Tell me what you think. Did you enjoy this video? Give me a thumbs up. Love to hear from you. And let me know what you think. If you've tried these or other things you should try, my address is below. Just shoot it on over. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.